Welcome back to another episode where I'm planning on reviewing something that is no stranger to the adventure motorcyclist, and that is this Scorpion EXO AT950 modular helmet, where market research says that naming your product with a bunch of numbers draws interest in sales. Well, maybe the AT stands for Adventure Touring. I wanted to reacquaint or possibly introduce one of the most versatile and valued helmets on the market today for the adventure motorcycle enthusiast. This isn't a long-term review. In fact, it's maybe my first impressions with less than 100 miles of riding time. Personally, it was time for a new helmet because my current one, as I've been reminded many times, is as old as the dirt I like to ride on. As we know, helmets come in many variations, like full face, open face, three quarters, half, and the modular or flip up helmet, which means you can have a full face helmet that's like a transformer. System online. This is the Scorpion EXO AT950. I ordered it from Revzilla and it arrived in about a week. Scorpion, a USA subsidiary of Keto Sports based out of South Korea, hit the market in the early 2000s and actually made a big splash. The AT950 is a collection of adventure modular helmets that have been around for a while, since 2016. Which means this video is a little late to the game, but because it's a popular helmet, it's time to do a review. This particular paint design is part of the Outrigger and it comes in a variety of different colors. This particular Outrigger's colors have this light gray, black, white, and orange accents, which tie nicely with my Pan America's paint. Today, you can also get a solid color version or the Elwood, a slightly modified design, all of which have a number of different colors you can choose from. It's made for both the off and on street rider, which is why this helmet appeals so much to a mile crushing adventure motorcyclist. Here are some of the technical details. The shell is made of polycarbonate plastic. One of the most common materials a mid-range motorcycle helmet shell is constructed of. More expensive helmets are usually constructed out of fiberglass or carbon fiber. Scorpion's advanced polycarbonate shell is marketed as incredibly tough and lightweight. Combined with dual density EPS foam offering great impact resistance. EPS is just expanded polystyrene, a crushable foam. Scorpion, like other helmet manufacturers, tune their EPS foams by adjusting the foam density to provide just the right amount of impact attenuation. Harder EPS foams work well to reduce energy transfers during high speed impacts. Softer EPS foams are better suited to slower speed, lower energy impacts. Hence, Scorpion's dual density EPS foam combine hard and soft foams. All this in combination with their double D ring retention mechanism earns the AT950 a DOT certification. Finish that off with Scorpion's proprietary Quick Wick 2 Comfort Liner. That's supposed to keep you cool and dry in warm weather and warm in cool weather. However, in my experience, the fabric seems to keep me warmer than other helmets I've worn. The liner is easily removable and washable. Underneath, you'll find speaker pockets so you can install your favorite communication device, like Cena's 50S system with mesh intercom and Harman Kardon sound. I'm super excited of having gotten this. Can't wait to install it. Maybe another video. And even though the helmet comes with a built-in dark smoke retractable sun visor, I still find it easy to slip on my own pair of sunglasses or regular eyeglasses. The drop-down visor is easily accessible midway up right behind the visor with this slider. I'm a big fan of helmets with this feature built in, just makes it easy to adapt on the fly. The visibility is outstanding, both peripheral and downward. It's an optically clear shield that has state-of-the-art fog-free technology. FYI, it's fogged up on me a few times during some evening rides, but that was with high humidity, just on the lower bit of the visor, even with the vents open. Scorpion does offer pinlock shield or pinlock insert as optional accessories. The visor has anti-scratch hardening coating, provides 95% UVA and B protection. It's easy to administer the shield with either hand. 
thanks to having knobs on both sides and the tension feels just right. If you want to tackle those extreme trails, you can remove the shield and sport some of your favorite motocross goggles instead. It doesn't take much to remove. You don't need any tools other than maybe a coin to righty tighty, lefty loosey. If it's more highway cruising you plan on, you can also remove the dirt bike peak to obtain better aerodynamics. To complete the look, add the included side plates to hide the helmet sprocket mechanism. I rode the interstate a few times without ever having removed the peak visor. Even though I could definitely feel the wind pulling, it wasn't all that bad. It was actually pretty stable due to the open design and vent placements in the peak. Speaking of airflow, the AT950 has this large chin vent that accommodates three positions. Closed, slightly open, or all the way open. The top also has a vent, open or closed. Easy to operate even with gloves. Then on the rear, you'll find this always open passive exhaust to encourage interior airflow. This is nice, but I do have to say that it does take some speed for me to feel any type of air cooling effect. Again, why I may feel this helmet seems warm to wear. And for the moment we've been waiting for, let's open the helmet to the world. To engage the modular feature, just reach underneath the chin. It's a single lever release that allow the chin bar to be raised or lowered either hand. The red lever may be plastic, but I really like the latching mechanisms. It uses these metal pins and hooks, which gives me more confidence in the modular feature's longevity. Is it a quiet helmet? Well, not particularly. Is it the loudest helmet I've ever worn? No, not even close. That would be a half helmet I tend to wear on a cruiser, you know, because I gotta look the part. Typically, modular helmets will never be as quiet as a full face. The amount of noise is to be expected, I knew with this helmet being at its price point of $289.95 at the time of this filming, that it was not going to perform at a $700 plus range helmet. In fact, the noise level is not bad at all considering, and when having saved at least $300, it's not wind noise, it's a wind melody. Originally, I was looking at other highly rated modular helmets that included the Shio Neotech 2. I know, I know, it's not an enduro style helmet, but it is modular and starts at just under $800. And both the Shoeberth C4 and E1, the E1 being a more comparable helmet. And after having lengthy conversations with my friend the wallet, he felt it was best that I revisit those helmets at a later time. Okay. The Scorpion AT950 comes with a five-year manufacturer warranty, the same as a Shoei Neotech 2. The helmet offers three shell sizes to help optimize weight and fit. For weight, a medium size comes in at 1780 grams or roughly 3.9 pounds. Modular helmets are expected to weigh slightly more because of their extra functionality. Fit-wise, it's considered to be designed optimally for an intermediate oval head shape, making it a little longer front to back. When I measured my noggin for the size I needed to order, I was actually on the high side of a medium. I'm glad I did not get a medium because the large size I ended up with fits me tight, mainly around the cheeks. Other than that, it's a really comfortable helmet. And I'm pretty sure like most liners that over the course of a few more hundred miles, the interior will loosen up and will meld into that perfect couple. Which, without knowing for sure, may make this a long lasting helmet. An excellent choice for features and value. I'm glad to have added this helmet to help pursue my motorcycle adventures. In summary, let's review the standout pros and cons. Pros, of course, it's well-priced. It offers style and many color options, comes in three shell sizes, solid feeling flip-up with solid parts, and good visibility. Cons, relatively heavy, liner tends to run warm, less airflow than expected, and initially fit me tight uh, which may not be really a con over the course of some time. If you're in the market for a feature-rich helmet without the feature-heavy cost, the Scorpion AT950 is a great choice. It tends to be the perfect all-rounder Enduro helmet to tackle those adventures. 
and then maybe later, after having decided that more adventure is in your future, to invest in a finely tuned but expensive helmet. To me, some of the primary advantages of having something on the higher end is the weight savings, well-engineered airflow, and of course, better crash spread distribution that comes with higher end shell material. I really hope you got what you needed from this video if you're in the market and doing a little research. If you have anything to contribute to the conversation, please leave a comment down below. I'm John, Till next time, safe riding.